generation that comes from the sun. I started Apiaries and Bees for Communities in 2010 because I wanted urbanites to know that nature is the skin of our city. And human spaces are the same as pollinator spaces. They're public spaces that are free to roam and are beautiful places for us to be self-expressive. So we really work at ABC to offer the tools to support the conservation of pollinator spaces, both large and small. We got thinking about bees and we thought, well, why couldn't we have hives? We have park space, we're the stewards of our green space, so why shouldn't we be beekeepers as well? One day we, we harvested a, a comb and, and to sit and eat, you know, honey right out of a, out of a beehive is a pretty extraordinary experience. We have bees pollinating our vegetables and our crops. Uh, we get fresh honey from them and we also have a way to bring more apprentices and have more educational opportunities on the farm. Something like honey really reflects the agriculture in that area, in the honey. So I think that's more than being important, it's, it's exciting and fun. We use the honey in our pizza dough recipe. We use that to activate the yeast. It also gives it a little extra flavor and it browns the crust when you bake it. Um, we also use it on our formaggi pizza, just as a garnish. So it's the, the main flavor along with truffle, just to give it that nice sweetness. And, uh, Elise and her team are part of uh, the support, the rear echelon for the real workers around here, which are the earthworms and the bees. They're the ones that really are doing all the hard lifting around here. I, my hives are currently in my in my parents' yard, and my father's already he's already knows or he claims he notices a, a difference in, in the quality of his flowers and his trees and things like that. So, you know, I think as we get more and more pollinators in an urban environment, I think that's going to be, people are going to notice. So working with the leaves and the bees, it's, it's really exciting for us because it allows us to complete the, the cycle, see something that is actually productive, you know, see something that isn't just recovery, but see something that's proactive. And, you know, it's exciting for our guys to close the loop, have a day where they get to see that, yeah, this is all one sort of system. And you're contributing a part, but there's other parts that we can contribute to. The heart of a healthy beehive is the ability for bees to work together as a community. And I think the fabric of a healthy city is the ability for human beings to work together as a community. So there needs to be resiliency and vibrancy in order to make that community grow in a really healthy way. We're really focused on building that hive mentality using bees as a conduit. We want the members of our beekeeping community to have a sense of autonomy, to have a sense of belonging, a sense of responsibility, and a healthy relationship with not only the bees, but the environment so they feel like guardians of their community. I think that the bees are a nice metaphor. I think that our food community in Calgary does have a hive mentality. Uh, they work together is kind of one of the biggest things. It's a community and you know it's the same thing that we do in the restaurant is everybody's got their jobs and everybody works together to hopefully have one end goal. You know we work with a lot of different suppliers, um, you know building relationships and uh, it, it's something interesting you know they can, they can go home and do a little bit and you know they're not just working somewhere they're, they're actually being a, a part of the community. The energy that a bee puts into its work is very similar to the way that we work at Una. Like we're always busy like bees there, that's sort of our, our big thing. So. And there were a lot of people inquiring about our bike tour we have because they want to be part of that to learn more about it. So I think that's good for us. It gives you that sense of community. Definitely going on the bee bike tour and, and seeing the hives, it's going to be pretty freaking super. Like I'm very excited. Uh, by also having people caring about not only cycling, but about their community and about nature, that it will come and also start caring about other issues that are affecting us. Everybody's working together in that bee colony to make it happen, just like everybody in Grill Calgary is working together to make it happen. Uh, we're identical, we're brothers in farms. And to taste the honey, I'm yeah. so excited. Like, what is honey from Sunnyside going to taste like? We'll be eating, you know, our neighbor's, um, our neighbor's nectar, yeah. 
At Apiaries and Bees for Communities, we're really dedicated to education and mentorship, allowing people to learn the skill set of beekeeping so that they take the skill of animal husbandry uh, very seriously. We're caring for these little critters. So education is a key component to us offering not only the skill of beekeeping, but also encouraging people to engage in the passion of expanding lifelong learning. With the Bees for Communities, um, there'll be 400 beehives in Calgary as of this year, and all those beekeepers need training. So I got to be an intern with the lease, so basically on every Tuesday afternoon for the whole summer, I get to kind of go be a helper and ask questions and help out and ride my bike. And it's Good. super awesome. I mean, on one hand, you know, one is intimidated when you start, and it's actually not that intimidating or. Uh, you know that difficult to, to get started, but uh, to be responsible about it, you have to, you know there's a lot you need to learn, and I think that'll be a, an ongoing process for years. But with the apprenticeship program, you could walk through with the lease the the whole season of beekeeping, see how to get started. She helped set us up with bees, and then taught us how to manage them and how to how to deal with issues that arose. There's so much to know and they're just so incredibly fast here. It, it's been a blast. So each time you open the hive, you, you learn something new. So the most inspirational thing I think of this whole like field session has actually been Elise because she in the beginning told us kind of how she started and I guess she was just like interested in bees and then from that interest and that love she grew this amazing community based Thing, this, take that love and make it big and that's what she did and now she's like a freaking expert in bees all everyone talks to her about it so thank you Elise. <laughs> I think we also have to learn to make our own choices make our own decisions in our own hives because our hives will be different and so that helps us to keep developing as leaders and you know build your confidence in, in ways that you didn't expect so I think that's a pretty exciting thing. You know I think anything that can remind people that they live in an organic holistic system is is just beneficial. I think there's a lot of fragmentation out there. A lot of people focused on what they're doing or and then feeling and feeling disenfranchised, feeling uh, you know separated from the environment, right? You live in an urban setting, you're driving your car, you're eating food other people make. So any any little reminders, little honeybees that are around that saying, oh you know what, this is only because of us that we're all working together is a really good thing. Bees indirectly are responsible for pollinating uh, two-thirds of the world's food crops. And also having kids, showing them where food comes from rather than just the supermarket and having them walk through the process too. And Some are more interested in the bees, some are more interested in building equipment, but it's something our whole family can work out together on some level. People see how excited, people here see how excited I am about about having bees in the back. They're like my little babies all, already, and I just started this stuff. So they get pumped up about it too. Follow your passion. I tried not to keep bees. I thought, no, I don't need to do this at this stage of my life. I do not need to do this. And as I grasped onto it more and more and got my hives and learned more and split hives and did all that, I thought, yeah, that's what life's about, being passionate. So. We work to build bridges between beekeepers and offer lifelong learning tools. We inspire collaborative action in resilient beekeeping and building community connections as we see your community as an extension of our ecosystem. We take pride in everything we do and everything we offer. Join us and make a difference with bees, one flower, one workshop, and one sweet taste of honey at a time. Oh, she rocked me to my soul.